Hello everyone and welcome to the final review of the Zolo Q600, the cheapest quad-core Android handset in India right now. It features a 1.2 GHz quad-core processor, 512 MB of RAM, Android 4.2 Jelly Bean, 5 megapixel autofocus camera and a front-facing camera as well. At the bottom you have the three capacitive buttons, the FW VGA display, front-facing camera, some sensors and primary piece up top. On the left of the device you have the volume rocker and you can see the dual metallic finish as well. On the right, you have the power lock and unlock button. At the bottom of the device, you can see the space to get the back cover off. At the top, the 3.5 headphone jack and the micro USB data syncing and charging port. At the back, you have the 5 megapixel autofocus camera, LED flash, main speaker phone, and Zolo branding. Now, let's take the back cover off to see what all is inside. The back cover is very nicely built. It is not flimsy, plus it has a sort of glossy finish which gives it a premium appeal. There you have the 2000 mAh battery, the SIM card slot which takes SIM cards horizontally, the micro SD card slot, the speaker grill, the camera and the LED flash up top. Now let's put the back cover on. The back cover does leave a sort of a hollow spot inside which makes a creaking sound when you pick up the device. But it can be an issue with this review device only. Other than that, the phone has a solid build quality and has some weight to it as well and feels good in the hand. Now let's talk about the capacitive buttons. They have very poor backlighting. As you can see right there, you won't be able to tell whether these are lighted or not. And these can only be seen in extreme dark situations and not normally. Now let's talk about the display of the device. The display has good color saturation levels, but it does tend to favor the blue color sometimes. Now let's change some wallpaper so that you can see different colors yourself. You can see that the display is very vibrant as well as bright. Moving on, now let's just scroll through. You can see that there is no lag while scrolling through as well as the touch response is quite good on this device. But if you talk about the viewing angles, you can see that the color distorts if we move the device even a little bit. Now let's talk a bit about the network and call quality. You can see that this is the primary dialer of the device. It's very stock. Now let's get into the call logs. This talk as well, there is no customization here. We didn't have any network issues with the device. The earpiece sounded quite clear and crisp. And the other person on the line too could hear us quite clearly. The network did drop when we entered our building at about the second floor. But that's not a general issue with the device. Now let's talk about the camera. Here's the five megapixel autofocus camera and single LED flash, which is quite bright. We'll have a separate camera review, but for now, let's have a look at the user interface. On the left, you have the different image modes. You also have multi-shot and panorama mode. Right up top, you can choose the front-facing camera and the flash on or off as well. Now let's get into settings. You can show GPS location information on images. You can choose between different scene modes as well, but I would recommend leaving it at auto. Now some specific image settings. You can choose face detection whether it's on or off. You can also choose between the preview size and picture size that will be available. Video mode has electronic image stabilization, audio mode which can be meeting or normal. You can also set the video quality to fine so that you get 720p videos at 30 frames per second. Now let's start with the multimedia review. Here are the bundled earphones that come with the device. These are in-ear style, have a silver pin, I have a single button interface to receive or end calls. These are not that great, very budget, but I would recommend getting your own pair of earphones so that you can listen to music on this device. I'll just play a song for you so that you can hear the loudspeaker. It sounds muffled right now, so I'll pick it up. The loudspeaker is quite clear, Chris, but we would have liked it to be a bit more louder.
Well, that's enough music. Now we'll plug in the headset to test FM radio. You can see that the headset is plugged in. Now we'll start the FM radio app. You can see that it picked up the channel very quickly and now we'll move it to speakerphone. The sound is very clear. And we didn't have any issues with multiple channels on this device. And you can also record FM right from within this interface. Moving on. Now we will play a local video for you so that you can see how the phone behaves while playing 720p videos. The phone only supports 720p videos and not 1080p videos, but you can play those through MX Player. I'll just zoom in a bit so that you can see the video more clearly the colors might seem a bit faded but that's due to the white glare that the device gives the colors in person actually are quite vibrant You can see here that there are no frame rate issues. There is no ghosting or freezing as well. Alright, now we'll play a YouTube video to see how streaming works on this device. We'll just load up phone one channel and play the gaming video of the Canvas 2 Plus. You can see here that online video 2 plays without any issues on the Zolo Q600. I'll just zoom in so that you can see the video clearly. There are no frame rate issues while playing online videos. This is a 480p video. We are playing this in high quality mode. Which you can see right there. Now let's talk a bit about the software. The phone runs Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. It's pretty stock as you can see right here. There is no customization done. Here is the app drop, which is quite stock as well. There are no options for sorting. If we move to the notification shade, it's stock and the quick toggles, which are part of Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. Multi touch gesture to pull down the quick toggles works on this phone as well. Now let's go into settings. You can see that this is the Zolo Q600 and it runs Android 4.2.1. Now let's go into tethering. The phone has Wi-Fi hotspot as well as Bluetooth tethering. These are the different audio profiles which you can set for the device and use through quick toggles as well. Everything else is stock Android. Now let's move into storage. There is option to choose SD card or phone storage as the default write disk, but it does not work. You have 0.98 GB for apps. We are using a 16 GB micro SD card. You also have 1.79 GB for phone storage. There is an option for USB OTG, but it never gets enabled when you plug in the cable. Now let's talk a bit about web browsing. We are going to open phonebunch.com. It will open our mobile website first, as you can see. Let's scroll through a bit. You can see that the scrolling is a bit jerky, but that might be due to the fact that the phone has just finished loading the website. We'll shift to our desktop website now. 
So our website has loaded completely. Kinetic scrolling is smooth enough, but it does tend to stutter a bit when reflowing elements. Let's have a look at text. The text is crisp and sharp. Pinch to zoom too works fine on the device, which you can see right there. It's only the reflowing of elements which gives it a hazy appearance. Now let's talk a bit about some specific apps. First up is Zolopar. We'll just enable it. You can change the sync frequency. Also, you can choose night mode, whether you want internet to be enabled at night for some specific hours. You can choose what all services are enabled or disabled when the phone enters low battery. And of course, you can restore all settings as well. The phone shows battery running information using which you can find how long the phone will last based on the current power level. Now let's go into Zolo Secure. It's a small little app for securing your Zolo smartphone. It offers real-time GPS tracking, instant notification on email and SMS, on SIM card change. You can remote control, remote wipe or remote lock your device as well. It syncs your call log as well as messages. One of the best things about the app is it captures the image of the person who is trying to tamper with the password through its front facing camera and sends it on your email address. Now we'll have a look at Flipboard. Flipboard works great on the Zolo Q600 even though it takes a lot of RAM. You can see right here, even while moving through the different posts, there are no issues while scrolling. And the load times are pretty great as well. Since we are talking about load times, let's talk about the performance of the device. You can see that there is no lag while going through the different home screens or through the app draw. So therefore, the general performance of the device, given that it has just 512 MB of RAM, is quite good. You can see that in our benchmark review as well. Now here is a novelty feature. It's video wallpaper. We'll just set the default one. The wallpaper you can see is running in the background. Although it does take a toll on the resources, but it's something nice to look at. Now some of the issues that we have faced with the device. First up is the weird micro USB data syncing and charging port. You can't fit a cable directly into it. You need to jimmy it in so that it fits properly. Next is the display. It sort of has a bluish feel about it and doesn't have that great viewing angles. Now we have seen some issues regarding apps. Apps just close themselves out of nowhere. It might be a low RAM issue because the device has just 512 MB of RAM or it can be a ROM issue as well. But the thing is, if the phone would have had just 768 MB of RAM, it would have been a better proposition. But given the price of the device, it's available for about Rs 8,300 right now. We don't have so many complaints, but if Zolo would have addressed just these small tidbits, it would have been a great device. I'll just add in a tidbit about the GPS and sensors. The proximity and light sensors work great. The phone does not have a magnetic field sensor and GPS too works fine when you are outdoors. Well, that's the full review of the Zolo Q600. If you have any specific questions, hit us in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. You can follow us on Twitter. That's twitter.com slash phonebunch or like our Facebook fan page. That's facebook.com slash phonebunch as well. Thank you and have a great day.